Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Now, I found my flyer. It was capsized. It came back from its little tryst with Helios and shamefully came back. It was capsized on a road. And I'm like, well, I already built and upgraded a bunch of thrusters. So this thing now has six thrusters, two gas tanks, two... Two large chests, a beacon, and a passenger seat in a glorious, uh, in a glorious waste of fuel. So, but I have since taken my mining vehicle out of the garage and I'm modifying it. And I added some widening to my lift gates here because I am building a new mining vehicle and for those who have any experience with any sort of construction equipment or any farm equipment you might recognize what this is. <laughs> it's like gee I wonder what that is. It looks like a skid steer to me. So we'll put the line the bucket back up and put the boom down. I mean you know just sort of sort of what we're, we're dealing with now but the main reason for this is I did have that that whole rack of I did have that whole rack of drills and saw blades on a big mining rig with two refineries on it a couple of resource collectors and just so unwieldy and this thing is a little bit unwieldy, of course, but the nice thing about this is suspension glitch turning. I know it's maybe not the most kosher thing in the world, but the nice thing about this is drive it right into the back of my truck. Let's try that again. Let's Right into the back of my truck, of course, yes. Yeah, so let's drive it right into the back of the truck. First time, first time's a charm. Let's try this again. Line it back up. I may have to replace the grating with the grip, grippy grippies, but come on. Oh, I did it before. That's why I chose this wheelbase, because I was able to do it before. And in true skid loader fashion, it's just like a little heavy in the back without a bucket, you know, or, or an attachment. And I keep thinking that the, uh, the suspension glitch is intuitively turning, and it's not. So let's go tight to this other side. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, I'm gonna have to replace some of this. Go, go, go. Nope. There we go. So, if I can get this worked out to the point where I can get it up and in here easier, this is where I'd park it, weld it down, and then have the refineries and resource collectors on a trailer. And also on that trailer, have the the different uh, attachments for, you know, wood and mining. So I figure my receiver plate and the attachments are just going to be one, a one block receiver that you can just weld to, and then have the controller that activates the drills or the saws on the bucket itself, and then just attach the a switch to that controller but yeah in true skid loader fashion I mean no bucket on there it bounces around I may have to move the uh, the battery box and and motor out but yeah that's my uh 
I'm working on a skid loader, apparently. So we'll see how that goes. And my windshield probably won't. My windshield probably won't fit on this the way I'm thinking. I may have to extend the boom out by one in order for the windshield to fit on here. Oh, it it no like. Oh, and it doesn't center. Well, I could do I could do the cat teleskid and just have the boom on one side. I mean, that could work. But yeah, that's my uh. That's it so far. I found my flyer and combined the two flyers, and yeah, it was it's silly. <laughs>